What's up, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more punk rock, and indeed back with another song from my favorite band, Propagandi. Uh, mention it in a couple other videos, I'll be brief, but Propagandi was my introduction to real punk rock, like anarcho punk rock, um, late 93, early 94, when I was 13. Um, really expanded my mind, introduced me to a number of like ideas and ultimately like authors through the reading list that they would include in their first few albums. Um, and ultimately, you know, because I was then interested in punk rock and, you know, punk rock with like real ideas, I then sort of found other bands. So indirectly, Propagandi helped me find other bands. Um, we're going to listen to a tune on their Today's Empire's Tomorrow's Ashes album. It came out in 2001. This album is very special to me because on the tour for this album is when I saw them for the first time. Uh, saw them at a venue called The Glass House in Pomona, California. Um, super cool show. Um, it was jam-packed. I, I went to the Glass House for rave parties. I played a rave party there. Um, went to other punk shows. This is the, the most packed I had ever seen it and indeed just to get in we had to like there was a line outside the building like around on like Gary and like all like peeling around onto third street and whatever bottom line uh, it was a great show um they played not only most of the today's empire's tomorrow's um today's empire's tomorrow's ashes album but they played songs you know from their first two albums as well uh it was a super great show really really made me happy um and i went there with a couple good friends of mine at the time um ira and his girlfriend charity and my friend chris and it was just a super dope show so yeah this album is always special to me for that reason we're going to listen to one of my favorite songs on that album called back to the motor league which is sort of um a tribute to kind of old school rockers who aren't here for you know glamour aren't here for you know recognition in you know like social circles and whatever but they're here to you know to listen to hard music they're here to like rock hard live hard and so on um and i love that the song makes two references in the same line to dead kennedy songs um this, this is a song called triumph of the swill which is about like crappy sort of safe and uh generic music being elevated by major labels and put forward on radio stations and so on at the expense of more creative and more um, talented music because again, it's it's safe, it's cookie cutter, we don't have to worry that it's gonna rile up the masses and so on. Um, so again, it's the way that, you know, this swill, this, you know, real kind of crap, like, you know, barely nutrition, uh, nutritional at all um, material is actually given the advanced position in the music industry. Um, and then chicken shit conformist, this idea that, you know, like, People who talk a big game and go to, you know, oh, we listen to hard music and we don't listen, we don't play by society's rules and whatever, and then they sort of grow up to be just like their parents and, you know, sort of have conservative attitudes about things and whatever. And so it's like, um, to reference Chicken Shit Conformist and Triumph of the Swill in the same uh, line, just, I, re I couldn't believe it when I heard it. Um, and it made me very happy, you know, it's like, Sometimes you don't know, like, oh, does the punk band that I listen to here, do they have any sympathies toward, or, you know, have they been inspired in any way by these other bands? And so to hear Propagandi reference two Dead Kennedy songs, it meant a lot to me. It was like, fuck yeah, dude, hell yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to listen to a song called Back to the Motor League. Whoa, almost spilled my tea because I forgot I put it there. Uh, on their album, Today's Empire's Tomorrow's Ashes, when they were still on Fat Records. This is 2001. I should mention the, the CD, um, which... I don't have it here. What did I do with it? Mm. Oh, right, it's here. That's where it is. Okay, hold on. Uh, I do want to show you the CD. There's an, this art, I believe it's some, you know, like medieval painting of purgatory, but I believe it's maybe been altered, or perhaps it hasn't been altered, and it's just, you know, it looks a little silly. Uh, nevertheless, I do believe that's supposed to be a depiction of some sort of purgatory. Um, the back here, it's sort of, the, you know, this like American flag mixed with this geopolitical map um, gives you this sort of um, ominous... Um, visual sensation. Nevertheless, here we go. This is Back to the Motor League Propagandi 2001 on Fat Records. Today's Empire is Tomorrow's Ashes. <laughs> What do they live like here, Sister? Twenty-four 
tortured artist college rock and punchy macho peblum. Throw that out there. Oh my god. Holy shit. Suleiman does this now. Play acting anarchists and mommy's little skinheads. Fuck off! So listen to your bullshit. Fuck off! Who cares? The song that you build up to burn never ceases to amaze. The straw man you build up to burn is a great one. How much fun was I also saw them at the House of the Blues in Anaheim when they did their uh, Victory Lap tour, and that's how I know Suleiman does that shout part now. This fucking song killed it at that show. Fifteen years later. Oh yeah. I had an image of George like blow drying his hair right there. Here we go. Just ask the Joy Cam rock band selling shoes for venture for venture capitalists. Stock personnel, front checkouts, front checkouts, stock personnel. Fuck. Fuck. I need to hear that line again. Silencing from bleeding edges, rounding off with jagged edges. Yeah, that's fucking incredible. Um, even better than I remembered it. And I just love that song that, like, yeah, you know, there's so many people, like, out there packaging themselves as these badasses that, you know, sort of resist authority and don't care what other people think or whatever. But in the reality, it's like this sort of mainstream sort of tripe that ultimately doesn't speak to, you know, much beyond this kind of macho mentality or like, again, you know, like this pre-packaged, like visual audio, like experience that helps to sell products and whatever. Um, so I really do like the scathing condemnation of sort of mainstream music industry. And again, using a callback to two different Dead Kennedy songs, both of which are relevant in this context to do that is just brilliant. I love it. Um, and I think I'm going to have to now go and react to both of those tunes, uh, which are on Bedtime for Democracy. Um, a great album. I mentioned it came after the whole trial and like, you know, the tensions of the band were sort of peaking. Um, but uh, Bedtime for Democracy is a great album. And now that we've just heard a song that made reference to two songs on that, I may have to go uh, and react to those. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you're a big fan of the song or if there's another song on this album that you really like. I think the whole album is great. The first song, which is, you know, it's about a... Uh, very sort of uh, specific political um, and historical situation, but which um, can be interpreted more broadly. That's a great song. It's Mataka, uh, what is it, Morris Ukun Rasik An. I'm probably, I'm fucking that up, surely. Um, but that's a really good song. And they started the show at the Glass House in 2001 with that song. Um, but yeah, Fuck the Border, great song. Um, oh, oh, Purina Hall of Fame. I mean, I may have to skip the like introduction to that song. It's like really hard for me to listen to. Um, I'm sure many of you feel the same, and I get its inclusion. I do like things that make us uncomfortable are sometimes important to pull us out of our comfort zone and to make us consider things which formerly we may have just allowed to be part of this background tapestry and not be concerned with. So I get it. Like things can be used even if they are unpleasant to cause positive change. 
Um, but you know, having already heard it multiple times, like it's just tough to get through. Uh, but I do want to react to Puri in the Hall of Fame because that was the last song they played um, at that concert back in 2001. Uh, so like I said, let me know if there's you know that song or maybe another song on this album you want to hear, or maybe just another Propagandi song, or maybe just another punk rock song in general. Um, as I said, you know, lots of punk rock up here. I realized I haven't reacted to The Clash yet or TSOL. I've done only one anti-flag song. Um, I haven't done Rise Against. Um, you know, there's lots of bands up here that I need to get to. So let me know if you have a particular request that you'd like to throw out or just, you know, a band you'd like to talk about. There's someone, um, he's been commenting on a couple of the Propagandi videos. Um, I'm blanking on the name right now. I apologize and I don't want to, like, interrupt the video. Um, but I do appreciate you um, and I really enjoy that there are some people commenting on the punk rock videos because... Again, you know, I'm a big techno guy, but I was listening to punk rock for at least two years before I discovered uh, techno and acid techno. And, you know, now, 25, 26 years later, um, I'm still here. Uh, no, what am I saying? That's for techno. Is it 28 years later? Holy shit. Uh, yeah, 28 years later, um, I'm still in love with punk rock and I still listen to it every day. So um, I'm glad that there are some people who have started to key in on those reactions. And please do let me know if you have a request. Other than that, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Peace.